Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. Time for the washroom report. Amen. Okay, there is so much going on right now. Unprecedented, okay? Um, today's date is January the 20th, 2022. And the time is approximately 1.35 in the afternoon Central Standard Time. Okay, here we go. Since we last spoke, obviously, massive amounts of Russian tanks, oil tankers, all of it, uh, still uh, going in uh, through Belarus, okay? Uh, I've seen more, more videos today of, you know, all of this being moved to the borders of Ukraine. Russia says it calls on the West to stop supplying weapons to Ukraine. It threatens Russia's security. Okay. Um, there were eight C-17s uh, that came out of the Royal Air Force Bryce Norton that went to the Ukraine uh, with armed forces minister con confirms the UK is sending thousands of NLAW anti-tank guided missiles to Ukraine. Okay. Uh, they also arrived in the Ukraine. Okay. Hans Stoltenberg spoke to President Zelensky to express NATO's strong support to Ukraine in face of the Russia threat. Allies call on Russia to de-escalate immediately. We're ready to engage in further dialogue with Russia, but won't compromise on key principles. Okay. Um, also, uh, two Raphael DG numbers 401 and 402 and four Raphael uh, EG 410, 411, 412, and 413 were under control of the first group of the Hellenic Air Force Raphael pilots. They passed their six month long transition training at the Dassault uh, Aviation in France. Okay. It was also a historic day for Greece, along with the Hellenic Air Force. It was the beginning for a new chapter of Greek air supremacy over the Aegean Sea. The first six Rafael DG EG fighter jets of the 332 Mira, 114 p.m., were delivered at Tanagra. They flew directly from Estriz air base in France. Okay. Um, also, and I'm, I'm going to read you this one. This was in Israel. Okay. Thousands gathered nationwide to protest government policies. And I'm going to read you this because it's, it's very short. Okay. Um, here we go. Thousands of protesters gathered in dozens of locations across the country Tuesday night to voice their frustration at government policies. Opposition lawmakers took part in some of the gatherings protesting under the slogan, Israel is in danger. We want a Jewish state. Organizers said they were protesting against the loss of Zionist values legal persecution and the danger to the Jewish identity of the state of Israel. Okay. Things are really heating up. An Israeli delegation went yesterday on the 19th to Sudan in the capital of Khartoum. Okay. Sudan Okay, it's Iran, Russia, Turkey, Sudan, Ethiopia, Libya, Ezekiel 38, 
players in the war, okay? And then this, this is just something else. UK Prime Minister Bojo, Boris Johnson, dropped all uh, CB period one niner restrictions. Why? Maybe because I think it's beginning to be a political season for re election and things of that nature. Or <laughs> maybe the Lord struck the fear of him inside of him and was like, okay, wait a second. Everybody's either dropping like flies or everybody's sick. We're about to be in war and we ain't going to have nobody to help us to fight it. So there's that. Putin hosts, yeah, the president of Iran at the Kremlin. Crazy. President Crazy. The butcher, the butcher. Turkey's Erdogan says that President Herzog may visit Turkey soon. Anybody? <laughs> then, this is a big squalor all over Israel. Those NSO spyware uh, tech companies that I had spoke of, um, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, uh, that here in the U.S., um, they were all banned, okay, for spying. Well, now it's come out and the people are livid that the Israeli police force has been using this spyware to hack into Israeli citizens' phones. Okay. The Obama administration will also begin the process of shipping 200 million worth of anti-armor missiles, ammunition, and other equipment to Ukraine in the coming days. And also, Secretary of State, U.S. Stinkin' Blinken, left yesterday, went to um, Kiev, Ukraine, to speak with counterparts there. Today, he is in Germany, in Berlin, speaking with them, okay? And tomorrow, Friday, the 21st, he is supposed to be in um, Geneva, Switzerland, yeah, for talks, okay? The United States approved Allied weapon shipments to Ukraine as worries mount. The Baltic NATO allies of Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia can now transfer American-made lethal weapons such as anti-armor and ground-to-air missiles to Ukraine. Russia gives the United States and NATO 48 hours. This was reported 17 hours ago. 48 hours to respond to treaty initiative, which basically is leave Russia alone, let them take whatever land they want to take. Somehow, I mean, I wasn't alive during World War II, and the majority of y'all were not either. But I have a feeling that this reunification nonsense um, is going backward to where everyone's like, okay, we're going to take back, you know, our land, you know, that we had back before World War II or whatever. That's just my thinking on it. And the first flight carrying fresh water and other aid to Tonga finally left New Zealand 16 hours ago, so I'm quite certain it's already there. God bless New Zealand for doing this. This and other flights have been delayed because of the ash from Saturday's huge volcanic eruption 
had covered the Pacific nation's main runway. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 38. If you have never called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please do so now. Christ was crucified for the sins of the world. God the Father raised him from the dead three days later. That's the truth. The only truth there is, he is the, one, the only one that saves, period. And the rapture of the church is about to occur at any given moment. And you don't want to be here. Okay. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony, Blink, uh, Anthony Blinken uh, uh, gave a speech regarding Russia and Ukraine, or will be giving it uh, today uh, in Berlin, okay, uh, regarding uh, Putin and Zelensky. So, haven't heard anything yet about that, okay? 1 Corinthians 2, 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And the United States Navy uh, publicizing, they resurface up to the top, our submarine in the Mediterranean, guided missile submarines, Mediterranean presence. Then, since what happened with the Houthi rebels uh, in the Abu Dhabi uh, attack on their oil infra infrastructure, um, well, now Israel's bracing for potential drone attacks from uh, the Houthis in Yemen as well, okay? And then, You know, our government is saying that um, the people of Ukraine will have very short notice, you know, of a Russian attack. I'm quite certain the people of Ukraine are fully aware of what is happening, okay? And I've been keeping them in my prayer. And then there's this, and I saw this, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me, okay? Um, there was an alert sent out uh, to several phones uh, from the state of Missouri state troopers, okay? And it, this, you know, is just an alert, but I'm going to, I know you probably can't see it. It went across people's phones, okay? See the Verizon up there? I'm going to tell you what it says. Give me a moment. Okay, this was sent out Tuesday, January the 18th across people's phones. An emergency alert. Gotham City, Missouri. This was supposed to be an all points bulletin on the lookout for a purple slash green 1978 Dodge 3700 GT with Missouri plates you kid me. That would be the Joker's car. Batman, the series. And they said, well, that was an accident. It's a five ring circus and I'm so ready to get out of here. And I know you guys are too. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let's see. 
Why the else? Okay. Yeah. Russia advances more troops toward Ukraine. And the White House believes an invasion could be imminent. Let's see. And a few hours ago, the Royal Air Force out of the UK rivet joint uh, soaking up signals around Crimea and Russia's Black Sea coast. Okay. Then, I couldn't believe it. It was written in Hebrew. Okay. And I had to go to Google Translate to get this. Now listen up. Because of all the sick, okay, in Israel, Benny Gantz, starting tonight, the government will approve the Hand in Hand project in which hundreds of IDF soldiers from the Medical Corps will assist home patients from next week to reduce the burden on the hospitals. The IDF will continue to fight for the national struggle in the C period Arona. I trust the IDF medical personnel to approach the mission with reverence, save lives, and help overcome the wave of the micaroni. That is not good, y'all. That is not good. Okay? God only knows what's fixing to happen. Um, then this just happened in less than an hour ago. Okay? Russian sub live fires caliber cruise missile from submerged position in the Sea of Japan. China sends Yurumki destroyer for joint drills with Russian Iran navies in the Gulf of Oman. Ukrainian army's uh, Berektar drone patrolling the Black Sea waters. There was a huge blast in Ghana. Many feared dead. Huge explosion in uh, Bogoso. Liberian church stampede kills 29 worshipers in Monrovia. Let's see what else we have. Unreal. The spirit and the bride say come. Okay. Let me get over here. This is news. Sergey Lavrov, Putin's right-hand man. He's on the move. And traveling at this moment over Poland. See it up there? Russian state. Okay, everyone, stand strong in the faith. No snake oil venom for you, nor for me. We trust in God, not in man. Glory, hallelujah, to the King of kings. I love you guys. Maranatha.